First you start off with the Sony laptop. A few tools. You have to unwrap the screen. Remove the battery. Remove the four screw covers. Then remove the four screws. Start going around popping each of these little clips out. Go along. When you start feeling it getting a little tight, you just pop it. Be very careful. You don't want to scratch it or break any of these clips. Do that all the way around. Once you get the bezel removed, set this to the side. Loosen the two base screws so that you can get a little free play out of the, the back. Next you'll be removing the side screws here that hold the LCD in. Remove the three screws Actually, I think it's done that one, that one, that one. From each side to release the, the base frame assembly from the LCD. Carefully lay the LCD on the keyboard. Remove the connector from the, the LCD to the board. Remove the tape and connector from the back of the LCD. Put the new keyboard with the protective film still on on the base of the keyboard. Connect this connector and connect this connector here and re-secure the tape. Line the screen back up for mounting back into the frame. Once the screws are put back in on both sides of the frame. Make sure to re-tighten up the frame down here at the base where you had loosened it earlier. Make sure to re-secure this tape back onto the metal frame of the LCD and verify that your connection has been done on the connector that you had removed earlier. You also want to re-verify that the connection is done on here and that you're, you've re-secured your tape. After you've secured the screws at the base and you've verified all your connections, line up your bezel and snap it back into place. Once the bezel's back in place, put in the four screws and the covers. Once that's complete, put in your battery. Power up the machine, and if the LCD works, then you know you've done your job right. Have a great day. This has been an LCD replacement for a VGN CS110E.